Well, I am living the uh, uh, Clear Lake Islamic uh, Center, and as you see, it's windy. All the uh, the signs are being blown out, so we just have one of them marking the entrance to the uh, to the boating uh, boating uh, uh, facilities. And uh, it's been raining and it's muddy, and it, I mean, I feel like I'm in the middle of cow pasture. But um, it is plenty of space. The building is nice. Uh, the building is uh, extremely well organized, and uh, hopefully, I don't get mud in my wheels. Uh, the uh, the building um, has uh, everything that, that you need uh, as a community center. They got plenty of bathrooms and they got plenty of booths. And I did a video earlier and I could not explain how it worked because it was so windy. So I'm going to redo that part. Uh, basically, you uh, come in, they give you safety devices like uh, PPE, personal protection devices. Uh, then you proceed to a checkpoint where you give you uh, you driver license and they check your credentials uh, electronically. Then you sign it. Uh, then you proceed to the uh, to the to the machine that takes your boat, and the lady will explain to you. It give you a hard copy uh, of some kind of the hard page or like a like a, a, a like a, a, a cardboard thing, cardboard type paper and you insert that on the machine, you press a code that they giving, they're giving you, and she walk you through that, basically, you know, like training you. And uh, after you boat is, is done, you, you, you press uh, a button, and it will say record this button, uh, or record a button, and record your boat, your boat and will print it on that paper they're giving you, that you insert in the machine. Then you walk that, uh, that piece of paper to a second machine and somebody will escort you to that machine. Uh, you insert that on the machine, the machine will read it, We read what the previous machine has uh, printed and will keep that piece of paper as a copy. It is a, actually a copy. So, so now the state of Texas has hard copies of what happened, the transaction that just happened. So even uh, if somebody later on can hack it, uh, at least they have the hard paper uh, where the voter, you know, uh, uh, input in the machine his intent or her intent of of what the uh, the amendment uh, to the constitution of the uh, state of Texas was all about. Um, uh, I you know I I think the guys on amendments are there that should not even be asked. Uh, for example, shall the shall the family of a fallen soldier should be exempted for, from some taxes. Uh, in my opinion, no. In my opinion, everybody should pay uh, their fair share. Uh, we don't have a uh, we, we don't want to have a millionaire that his kids got killed in Afghanistan and then he never paid taxes again. Hey, listen. Uh, I feel your pain. I feel the pain of each individual son and daughter of the United States of America dying in, in combat. Listen, what we need to put our effort is not in taxation and try to remediate a, a feeling. What we need to do is prevent wars to begin with. Make sure we don't send our best into harm's way. And, and that is the way I look at it. You know, we, we, you know how, how, why are you asking me uh, to exempt somebody from paying taxes. While well, throughout the history of the United States of America, all these people have perished defending the country and their family continue to pay taxes. So now, uh, because you want to carry, carry you, uh, you, 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 trying to get some 
some friendship from someone to vote for you, now you're going to decide, no, no, these guys are not paying taxes, you know, because I'm going to be so good uh, that I'm going to make an amendment uh, to the Constitution of the Republic of Texas where these guys do not pay taxes because their kids pass away in a, a war that I created. Well, that is the way up, and uh, I can say this, let's not fight wars. Uh, let's make sure that we do what we're doing here, utilizing uh, uh, um, uh, religious centers to, to unite the community, to unite the community. As a matter of fact, that it is the first time that I've ever been in that uh, Islamic center. So it is a good thing. Uh, it, it, it brought me closer to, uh, to another, uh, how can I say, another fellow United States of American national. And maybe they brought, uh, 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 they brought me closer, uh, or they brought them closer to me. So that is what we need to be doing. Uh, we need to be creating uh, a, a single nationality, the United States of American nationality, and, 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 and transfer that learning to others that uh, the, the we are an American continent, that we are no English, and transfer to other correct knowledge that there is many tribes in Europe and they are still there. They are not gone nowhere. The Catalan is still there, the Aragonese, the Celto, the, uh, uh, the Andalus, the, the Stremeño, uh, the Occitanio, the Basco, you know, uh, oh, there, is, there is like 20 different tribes and languages in the Italic Peninsula alone. Uh, the Balearics, all those islands have their own tribes. And, and people, do, they do not realize, they, they actually think that it's erroneous uh, to say that the Celts are alive and well. <laughs> the Gauls are alive and well. Uh, if you don't believe me, just get on an airplane and go to Galicia. I see you in Galicia in a few days. Saludos.